Calnex is a globally established provider of test solutions to the telecommunications industry. We make test instrumentation, we make hardware platforms, as you can see some of them behind me here, and then we load different software personalities on top of these depending on what people are trying to test. So we sell to all the sectors within the telecommunications sector. We sell to the operators, so that's your BT, your AT&T, China Mobile. We sell to the equipment manufacturers, Ericsson, um, Nokia, Cisco. And we also sell to some of the component people like the Intels, Broadcoms of this world. So really they're using our product to prove performance of their critical infrastructure, making sure their, their equipment, their, their networks are going to actually meet the international standards that they're required to meet to, to have their equipment deployed or to run networks in the industry. I founded the company in 2006, uh, it was when I started the company. We started shipping product in early 2008. Since then we've shipped product to over 600 sites in 68 countries around the world, so it's very much a global industry. And today we, we have been profitable, we have had a, a good track record, we've got ourselves established as a, a leading supplier of test equipment into our sector. We got a really good response from our investor meetings that we had. Um, so we managed to raise 22 and a half million, 16 and a half million to go to the current investors uh, and then six million to stay within the company. We're going to use that money to, to pay down some expensive debt we've got. We're going to enhance our business development and R&D resource and also bolster our working capital. The real reason we decided to go forward to, to, to list a name was to enhance our financial platform. We are clear on what our strategy is, our growth strategy, but in terms of as a young company, and especially as a, a limited company, at times it can be hard to raise capital and we felt being a listed company would give us a much better chance uh, to raise the capital that we need to execute on our um, ambitious plans. The market we play in has got huge drivers at the moment and it's things that are affecting everybody's life, not just the telecoms world. It, the, you know, we talk about the smart cities of the future you know, and, and the equipment they are going to need, the machine-to-machine -machine type interface, the internet of things, the mobile network that's continuing to evolve from 3G to 4G to 5G to 6G to, to many Gs. And of course the movement of the, everybody using cloud computing services and storage farms rather than local. Or oh, the telecoms network needs to dramatically change to be able to support these. And these are the things that are driving our capability because when there is new equipment or new deployments or new standards in the network, then you need test equipment to, to test these and that's where we fit into this. We solve a number of different problems for our clients. Uh, primarily we do standards conformance, but we also allow them to verify their equipment before it gets deployed. So, you know, these networks, the telecoms networks today and in the future are really complex. So the equipment that's, that's designed to go into these networks is very complex pieces of hardware software platforms, and they need to be tested under very different scenarios to ensure that once they're deployed, they will work under all cases once they're out there. So really our equipment is used to do that verification. So we can basically prove they conform to certain standards and we can prove that they'll work under all conditions once they're deployed in the field. Approximately 90% of our revenues comes from the sale of bundled hardware and software, which is recognised on dispatch to the customer. The remaining 10% comes from associated warranty and software support programmes, which we recognise over the life of the contract. The price per order can differ from transaction to transaction, depending on the number of software options the customer chooses. We also additionally get added functionality ordered in future years. The spread of our revenues across our three geographic regions also allows us to build resilience and spreads our risk. And the really good thing about our business model is our high level of repeat demand from our customers. Over the last three years, on average, 80% of our revenues has come from repeat customer demand. And additionally, across our top 10 customers, the average length, length of relationship that we have with them is nine years. If 
first of all, we're going to continue to follow the 5G or the, the evolution of the mobile network in terms of tracking, you know, looking for opportunities to test some of the new technology that's going to be used in the future 5G, 6G networks. So we need to continue to look for opportunity there. The cloud computing and the appearance of these huge storage farms around the world is also creating a new opportunity for us and we have product today that already addresses that but again we're going to continue to track the trends in there, you know, provide new solutions as we, as we see in there. And then finally we have done three acquisitions to date and it's something we want to do more of in the future looking for acquisitions. And we'll be acquiring companies that have products that either enrich the portfolio that we have in the 5G or in the cloud computing space or actually get us into new spaces. So it's all about finding, using these products to ex expand our addressable market and get to, to more customers and, 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 and increase the business. Calnex is a globally established provider of test solutions. We have a reputation and it's very much an, an area where reputation is important. Our, our solutions are high value, high complexity, and we have that reputation already around the world. And I think the fact that there's so many growth opportunities that we've already talked about in terms of the enhancement of the mobile network to 4G, to 5G, to 6G, to wherever, the, the enhancement of the, or the move to cloud computing, these things are all growth engines for us and, and give us the opportunity to continue to grow. So so we believe there are a lot of opportunities coming over the horizon towards us. Being a listed company, we feel we're going to be in a stronger position to go after these as and when they come over the horizon towards us.